Okay, so today it's foggy. Of course, the only idiot here is me. Um, so we're on Sakari. She's a horse in training. She hasn't been out for a couple days because she had the weekend off and it was also pouring. So we're on today. We got our vest on, our helmet, because you just never know. They haven't been ridden. And so what we're doing first, I did lateral flexion and vertical flexion. She might be looking at this spinning thing right here, so we'll stop for a second so I can talk while she's looking at it. You'll see she's going to turn her head side to side. She's looking out of her left eye at the spinny thing. And then she'll probably turn and look out of her right eye and look at the spinny thing. So never forget, their eyes are on the side of their head, so they don't see like we do with their head straight looking at it. So when I need them to look at something, I will stop and let them put their head side to side. I'm not going to do that um, when we're walking because if they're looking out of that one eye, then she's not looking where she's going. She's looking at the object and they're more likely to trip. Okay, so we're going to have you do a little routine with us. And so what I'm going to start to do when she's done looking at this is we're going to serpentine. We're going down the hill. So we're working on bending the horse and we're making it like a snake. We're uh, We'll do it this way in case the camera doesn't see. So we're going back and forth like a snake and we're working on bending the horse, getting them to give to the bit, and that also helps to separate their legs. So now she doesn't seem as concerned with the spinny thing. So let's give a little leg and off we go. All right, so it's going to be right rein, right leg. And it's going to be left rein, left leg as she stares at the thing. It's not going to get you. So if you're scared and they're looking at something, take a deep breath. She wants to go check it out. She's like, I'm a mare, I'm brave. Now she might touch it and jump. So you're always ready that if she touches it and jumps, you're just sitting back so you're not gonna fall off. She's like, I never saw spinny things in my barn before. Right? Good girl. So now because she was brave, I'm gonna give her a little treat. Come here. She's like, oh, that's never happened either. Hmm, I might be more brave. Now I know you don't care, so off we go. Okay. So it's going to be left rein, left leg. Just pulling enough to get their head to turn so she knows which direction. And right rein, right leg. Okay. So this does help to separate their legs. You want to do it slow down the hill so they engage themselves and they get on their back end. So we'll do it here too because she's snorting. So we want to give her jobs to do. Right rein, right leg. Left rein, left leg because I couldn't round pend her. So I don't want to just sit up here waiting for her to get spooky or goofy because she hasn't been out because the best horses can if they don't get out and run around. So I'll give her a little job. So left rein, left leg. Right rein, right leg. Now we're going downhill and she's getting a little pacey because she's antsy. So you just breathe. Slow her down. Might have to go really slow. And just keep doing your serpentine. She's a little looky at everything today. She's usually not. Wow, looks like we're riding in heaven. Okay. So left rein, left leg. Right rein, right leg. So this might be your horse normally. Hopefully it's not. Because if it is, they might need some round pending. So she's just spooky. Since she hasn't been out. All horses are a little different. Some get spooky when they haven't been out. Some get... You know, they buck and rear and get all excited. Um, let's check our girth while we're... Always make sure that's tight when you're on a goofy horse. Okay. And we're still going to, even though I'm talking, I'm still trying to do my serpentine. Now we're in an area that's a little muddy. So I want to go real slow so she doesn't slip. Those are thoroughbreds. I know they're scary. Okay, you don't need to talk to them. Okay, so things can look different in the fog, in the rain, in the dark. You know, and each horse is different, so you'll know the ones that are screwing with you because they do it all the time. But the other ones, like she's not like this normally, so I'm going to give her a chance. So I'm going to go back to the serpentining.
get tense and her gait gets short because that, you know, I'm also working on that. I'm going to breathe and try to relax even though I'm still doing the serpentine. And there's a tractor or something up here, but we can't even see it. Okay, so I'm going to go around the barn and I'm just going to keep serpentining for now until I get that better. Okay. So, um, she's been pretty spooky. She spooked out a lot of stuff, but she just spooks in place. Um, so we went up to most of the things and did some circles around it. So now she's getting better. So she's not as antsy. Her serpentine's a little better. So remember, left rein, left leg. The other side is just supporting. So my right rein and right leg support when I turn that way. Now it's my right rein, right leg turning her. My left rein and left leg are supporting her. Okay. So this horse tends to cut into the right, so when I go to the right, if she's cutting way in, I'm putting my spur there so she doesn't want to lean on it. And that will help her to actually engage herself and use her muscles instead of leaning on me. So now she's not afraid of that little bike thing. So I'm making her go very slow down the hill because she otherwise was antsy and getting pacey, and I don't want her to practice pacing. So. Making her go slow, and again, this is helping separate her legs, making her mind busy, and helping me to keep her out of the pace. If you just pull and let go and they keep pacing, well, they're just going to keep pacing. So you got to try different things. So you see an open spot here. You might have an open spot at your barn. And so I'm going to make a circle to the right. So you see I'm slow. I didn't come out and go really fast. I mean, I might have if she can calm her down to get the energy out um, but I felt with her that I could just work her and she would get better and she is getting better so so I make a couple circles to the right so all I'm doing is my arena routine you can do this on the trail and I make lots of circles so you could always circle around the tree then going downhill again if they're pacey I'm either serpentining or leg yielding or moving their shoulders or hind quarters. So you'll see I'm going down really slow because if I even go a little bit faster, she just stops. She just says she don't want to go anymore. Um, so I have a stick, so I just tapped her with my stick when she did that. So now she's getting pacey again, so I gotta slow it down. So you'll see I'm going like quarter or slow, but I have to keep her out of that pace. I don't want her to think that pace is okay. And again, I'm doing other things by doing that. I'm engaging her back end. So you see she's looking around. Now we start going uphill. So going up the hill, since she's better, I'm going to start doing some leg yielding. She's drifting a little bit, but she just learned all this stuff last week. She didn't know anything like how to leg yield or make good circles or anything. So leg yield her off my left leg. Now my both my hands will go to the left and I'm going to push her off my right leg. If she won't listen, I add a little spur. So I'm going to go back and forth. Now she's getting antsy and a little pacey while I'm doing it. Oh well. I'm going to try to slow her down. Now as I go further up the hill, she's going to start to engage herself, drop her head, get her back end lower to the ground, and she'll start walking better than she is right now. So right now I'm going to relax a little bit. See her head drop down? So now you might feel, see the camera shaking more because she's engaging herself more. Yeah, let the devil out. And uh, she's reaching up underneath herself better. And you'll see her head come up and down. That's okay. That's because she's new to this. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm just going to do this around a couple more times, um, and then I'm going to go the other direction. So I'm stopping. She's pulling on me, so I brace my hands. I get to practice her backup, which she didn't know a week ago. Oh, nice backup. Okay, maybe we'll do that again since we got the camera on. So we're going forward, sit back, breathe, take your leg off. <sighs> whoa. As soon as whoa comes out of my mouth, if she doesn't stop, I pull. And then I'm going to back off on her. So pull, let go, pull, let go. So she understands when I say whoa, it means stop, think backwards. So they get a really good stop on 
good girl. Okay, so I'm going to shut it off and then I'll put you back on when we do work. Okay, so this is what happened since the camera's been off. Sakari was doing okay. She was a little spooky and jumpy. Then she decided she didn't want to do some of her stuff and kind of shut down and wouldn't move. And then we got her over that. I got off and did some groundwork, got back on. She goes, okay, it's better if you just get on and I'll just do your stuff. Then she was fine. And then every time we went by this path over here, she kept trying to run towards her pasture mates. And so I tried to push her hindquarters over. I tried to leg yield her. And uh, she just shut down and wouldn't do it. Kept running off to the right. I, I can't show you that stuff because I can't get the camera on. <laughs> and I got to fix the horse. So um, so I said, fine. Let's go over to your pasture mate. So I backed her up all the way over there. I backed her up, I don't know, 100 feet. And then when I got over there, I side passed her, moved her hindquarters, gated back and forth, did a whole bunch of stuff. And then she tried aiming for a stall, so I took her towards her stall. I said, you want to go towards your stall? I'll show you what happens at the stall. So it's not rest, it's work. So I spun her around and did some stuff over there. And then I got back on. And, uh, and now she's got her head down because she's exhausted. And now she's doing what I'm saying. But the thing to know with mares is they can be great, but if they've gotten away with stuff, uh, they will try it over and over again until they're sure they've met their uh, match. And you have to have a lot of tools in your pocket uh, to be able to challenge them because they're going to shut down and not move. Um, you know, she was a little aggressive before. Some can become aggressive or they just won't move. So you got to figure out how to get their feet moving again. Uh, but my whole point was, her, it's much easier just to go around in this circle and work for a little bit than to go back and be with your friends. So... We'll try and go the other way after she catches her air, and uh, then we'll see if she has uh, learned her lesson or not.